Yo, what is up gamers? It is JBob here and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn off IPv6 in your router settings. Yes, this is probably the most requested video that I have ever gotten. Um, as you see, I, I'm, I'm a little bit of a Minecrafter. I play Minecraft a lot. And uh, I recently made a few tutorials showing off how you can join servers on Minecraft in the Minecraft Bedrock Edition of the game, which can be accessed on your Xbox, your, your Nintendo Switch, your PC, your mobile phone, literally almost everywhere. And uh, yeah, basically for that method of joining servers, you have to change some of your DNS settings around to connect to a DNS server. I'll have all these videos linked down below if you want to check them out and want to join Minecraft servers on Bedrock Edition. But basically, one of the things that a lot of people have problems with with that tutorial is with the whole DNS settings thing, you have to only have IPv4 on with your router in your router settings. Now there's actually two options that you could have here with your uh, in your router settings. You can have IPv4, which is what you should have, or you could have IPv4 and IPv6. And IPv6 just isn't going to work for this method. So uh, I thought I'd bring you guys a tutorial showing off how to do this, how to turn off IPv6 in your router settings. So it's a little bit of a journey, so hang with me. I'm gonna try and go in depth and explain everything so you guys can understand and uh, yeah, kind of do it and follow along on your own. But real quick before we dive into it, um, what the heck is this, guys? I don't think I've seen a worse YouTube subscribe to not subscribed uh, ratio like ever. Um, you know, you see all the other YouTubers out there saying, hey guys, only th only 30% of you guys are subscribed. Yeah, I only have 1.1% of you guys subscribed. So if you would please do me a favor and just hit the subscribe button if you uh, find this video helpful, find me entertaining. I do all sorts of fun gaming stuff here on YouTube and uh, I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So basically, you're gonna need a computer for this method to access your router. Um, if you don't have a computer, um, maybe you could do it on your phone. I'm not, I'm not really too sure, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it on the computer. So if you don't have a computer, you're probably gonna have to look elsewhere on how to turn off your IPv6. So uh, yeah, but yeah, first thing you wanna do is find your gateway address. So that way you can actually connect to your router and log into it. So uh, if I go ahead and open up my little browser here, as you can see, I just typed in common default gateways. So a gateway address is basically uh, one of these here. You, it can literally be pretty much anything. But uh, yeah, you can probably test out some of these. I know mine is this one here, uh, 192.168.1.1. Um, but yours could literally be anything. A good way to figure this out is if you're on Windows, you can do this little thing. I'm not sure how to do it on Mac. I'm not a big Mac person. But if you hit Windows key and R, you get this little run command prompt to come up here. And if you just type in CMD, you can bring up the command prompt and uh, this little thing here. Um, you can see here's the little command prompt. You just type in IPCONFIG for IP config. And as you can see here, the default gateway here is the 192.168.1.1. And that's just a quick, easy way to check if you guys don't know what your default gateway is. But basically, yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and copy it straight from here. And uh, yeah, you basically just get your, your gateway address and then you can literally just copy and paste it into, uh, into your browser. And uh, yeah, basically on Google Chrome, this is what will pop up. If you're on another browser, it may be different. I recommend Google Chrome. I like it. But basically, this is where you're going to go ahead and log into your router. This information should actually be on the back bottom side of your router. They usually have a little sticker on there with the, uh, the login information. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my router now. And here we are in my router settings. Now this is where it gets really, really complicating and kind of confusing because uh, my screen probably looks absolutely nothing like your screen does. And this is why I kind of debated making this tutorial for such a long time because uh, it's literally different for everyone. And uh, this is kind of as far as it goes where you know, you can kind of follow the tutorial. This is where you kind of have to use your brain, turn on the, the brain smarticle particles for, for a little minute and actually do some looking for yourself. Like you're gonna have to look through your router settings and, and you know, try and figure it out on your own because this is literally different for everyone. Everyone has different routers and different ISP, IS, how do you say it? IS, 
internet service provider isps internet service provider yeah i don't know i'm an idiot but uh, <laughs> basically this is this is what mine looks like and uh, you basically want to find the ipv6 ipv4 settings um in your router and uh yeah i can show you where mine is it's probably going to be different for you some routers have a search bar at the top where you can kind of search for settings but uh in mine you go to settings and this opens up here and then you come down here into advanced settings and then you can actually see right here there's a setting called ipv6 and then right about here internet connection type for ipv6 is disabled and you can actually set up a uh, you know if you want to have it on or pass you know what whatever you whatever you want to do whatever it may be on any of these here uh, mine's a fancy router so yours literally could just be on or off but mine has all these options here but uh, yeah you can just go ahead and click disabled and then uh, go ahead and apply your settings and everything like that and uh, bing bada boom your ipv6 will be will be turned off and you will just be on ipv4 like you need for joining minecraft servers so I don't know. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this, you know, you learned something from this. This is just kind of like a little basic networking, like adjusting your own settings type thing. Uh, and if for whatever reason you ever want to turn back on IPv6, all you got to do is come back to where you where you turned it off and turn it back on. It's not a big deal. You aren't really going to mess with anything. And if you do have any questions or do want extra help with this, um, I know you can contact your, your internet service provider, your ISP, and uh, they'd be more than happy to help you usually um, with whoever you have, you know, Charter, AT&T, Time War, whatever, whatever your, your provider is, you know. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helps. Um, again, I'll have my tutorials on how to join Minecraft servers and changing your DNS settings down in the description if you guys want to check those out. But uh yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. That's pretty much the ting. Um, yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>